At Cerima, we've integrated the best technology from around the world to produce the most efficient bottle recycling system available. Compressed bales of bottles are loaded onto Cerima's in-feed conveyor. By placing them on the floor, cutting the baling wires, and pushing them into the hopper with a forklift. This is a simple, efficient way to load the line. The conveyor can store up to 12 bales and meters the bottles into a rotating cylinder or bale breaker, which reduces them to individual free-flowing bottles. The rotating cylinder also serves as storage and meters the bottles to the downstream equipment. Here, Serima's patented bottle pre-washing module is employed. Dirty bottles enter a process cylinder where they are exposed to a hot, caustic solution under gentle agitation. This solution is the liquid discharged from the flake washing module that would otherwise be discarded. The bottles are not completely submerged in the solution, so they do not fill with water. This is important. Under these conditions, the exterior of the bottles, where most of the contaminants exist, is cleaned of glass, sand, labels, and most of the glue. Because of this, the machine wear is minimized both here and in the higher speed equipment downstream. The caustic solution is continuously recovered, filtered, and reused. Exiting the pre-washing module, the bottles look completely different. They now pass through automatic and manual sorting systems, which operate much more efficiently because the bottles are void of dirt and labels that could otherwise confuse these systems. Many types of automatic sorting technology can be implemented, including X-ray, near-infrared, optical, and magnetic sorters. The bottles are now ready to be ground into flake. Serima uses a wet granulator to perform this function. The advantages of a wet granulator are inexpensive washing and scrubbing, removal of the largest remaining contaminant, liquid, pulping of paper, fewer material fines, and elimination of the material meltdown risk. The flake exiting the granulator passes through a centrifuge, where the water, along with the paper pulp and washed liquids, is separated. The flake is then conveyed to silos. The silos act as a buffer between steps and as a device to meter the flake to the downstream equipment. Augers at the silo discharge convey material into reaction tanks. The reaction tanks are insulated stainless steel cylinders with internal high-speed impellers. A very specific amount of bottle flake is mixed with a potentially hot, caustic solution for a controlled period of time. Coupled with the aggressive agitation of the impellers, paper is reduced to pulp and all glue is dissolved. The flake slurry is now pumped into centrifuges, which remove the liquid along with the glue and paper it contains. Steam and clean water can also be introduced into these centrifuges to rinse the material. The clean flake is now conveyed to a separation tank where it floats or sinks depending on the polymer. The material passes through agitated fresh water tanks which further rinse it. To start the drying process, we always employ mechanical action first and hot air afterwards in order to conserve energy. Normally, a centrifuge followed by a fluid bed dryer is used. The dry flake now enters the material handling modules. In a PET line, an elutriator is used to remove fines and barrier layers that were delaminated during agitation. Metal and PVC sorters can be introduced. In an HDPE line, the material is normally sent to a silo and fed into an extruder. Serima's bottle process is turnkey. A centralized control system provides total system management. Each water loop comes complete with a filter, tank, and pump. All platforms are included. Serima can also provide complete water treatment facilities. Using the highest technology, coupled with fundamental engineering, provides the best quality end product at the lowest operating cost. At Serima, our success depends on your success.